ZapTest is designed to support automation of any testing process, Agile, Waterfall, or any other software application development testing. There are four main approaches to use ZapTest. Automate against live application under test. Automate against the application UI mockups. Automate against a recorded video scenario or automate against an application's API layer. Our first approach is against a live application under test. In this example, we will use the industry common approach of developing test automation using a live application. To do this, we are going to use the scan GUI functionality within ZapTest and select the interface of the opened application under test. As you can see, ZapTest scanned the UI and created a view with the scanned objects. At this point, we can select the desired objects that we need for automation and delete the rest. Once we have all the desired objects, we are going to create a script to perform the end user steps. ZapTest offers scriptless test development approach for beginners, as well as scripted approach for advanced users, who may choose VBScript or JavaScript for writing their code. Once the script is ready, we will execute it and review the results. In our second example, we will create a test script using application mockups. This approach is useful to advance test automation readiness and is generally used to support testing for agile development. To create a script using mockups, we will follow a process similar to the previous example. But instead of scanning a live application, we will be scanning a mockup. As a result of each scan, we are getting a new view in the GUI map with all objects present. At this point, we will be following the exact same steps as in the live application example, and we'll create a script using the desired objects that we collected from our mockups. Once the script is ready, we will add one more step to invoke the application under test. Then we will execute the script and review the results. Our third approach is to automate testing with ZapTest using a recorded video scenario. This approach is useful to support the waterfall development process or any process that requires collaboration and knowledge transfer between application subject matter experts and test automation specialists. To create the script, we will follow the steps as a subject matter expert and record the video scenario by using the ZapTest screen recorder. To do this, we will navigate to the Recorder tab on ZapTest and click on the Record button. As you can see, ZapTest invokes the Recorder toolbar to control the recording process. To record the scenario, we simply need to manually perform the end user steps following the test case and stop the recording. Once the recording is finished, ZapTest creates a full recorded video and auto-generates application views. At this point, we will begin acting as a test automation specialist and will develop the script using the recorded video. Using any video frame, we can create additional views if needed. Once we have all the views, we will click the Generate Views button in the upper left corner of the scenario pane. As you can see, ZapTest generates a list of test objects and displays them in GUI map.
Now we can create and execute a test script using a process similar to the previous examples. As in our first two examples, you can see the results after the script has been executed. Our last approach is to use the ZapTest API functionality to test SOAP or REST services. Web service testing steps can be combined with regular UI testing. In ZapTest, we will use API Explorer to define a server object. All available API methods are loaded from the WSDL file. We will select a method from the list and use the API Studio to customize the request attributes and define validation points. In this example, we will use a combination of API and UI steps to get our company name value and use it for a Google search. We will run the test and review the results. In addition, we can use the Zap Test Doc functionality to auto-generate test documentation coverage of any given test script in any of the testing approaches that we've seen here. To generate the documentation, we need to click the Generate button located in the Doc module. The Doc module provides controls to edit the generated documentation, to save it to a file under various file formats, or to export it to any of the supported test management systems. Any test script developed using any testing approach can be used in ZapTest for parallel execution. To do this, we will navigate to the MRUN tab, connect to all the devices that need to be part of the testing effort, and click on the Run button. ZapTest uses the multi-runs mode to execute the same test on all connected devices in parallel. After the parallel test run is complete, we will open the test report and review the execution results for each device. As you can see, ZapTest can support any test automation development process that uses Agile, Waterfall, or any other software application development testing by automating against live application, mockups, video scenarios, or API components. Please navigate to ZapTest.com and start your test automation today.